Hi everyone, Abby here, and welcome back to my channel for Tech Tuesday, or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Fitbit Charge 5. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly, and so you can help the channel grow. So I have this in the color Lunar White Soft Gold. It does come with a Lunar White silicone band and soft gold colored bezel. And this currently goes for $229.99 Canadian or $179.99 American. And I've already gone ahead and done a full unboxing of this watch. So if you've missed that, you can go ahead and check that out on the top right or in the description below. All right guys, so this is the front of the package here. We can see a beautiful picture of the Fitbit Charge 5. Here's the side. So we can see there's a couple of things that the watch can do. On the back, we can see that there is a multitude of information here and some other pictures of the watch. And at the side here, there is some more information. All right guys, this is what it looks like on me. And right now I am wearing the small band and my wrist is seven inches, guys. And just going to the bottom here, guys, I am two holes up from the bottom here. So I'm actually gonna show you guys how to change the bands. So on the bottom side of the watch, there's these little clasps here. So you just kind of push it out, guys. And you hear a little snap, and then you can detach it. And then you just take the other band, here's the large one, and push it in. And then it snaps in. I love infinity bands. I find them super comfortable to wear. And you don't have to worry about the band kind of coming undone and flopping around. So this is the large band on me, guys, and I go all the way up to the last hole here. All right, guys, so now I'm going to go into some feature highlights about the Fitbit Charge 5. It has touchscreen operation, it has an AMOLED full color display, and it is made of Gorilla Glass 3. It has built-in Bluetooth, an EDA sensor, SPO2, GPS built-in, a heart rate monitor built-in, and with this watch, you can access silent alarms. It also does have smart wake alarms, so this will wake you up at the least disruptive time in your sleep cycle. It has 20 different exercise modes. It's dust-proof and water-resistant up to 15 meters. And it does have a water lock feature on here, which you can go ahead and turn on and it's going to lock the screen for you so it doesn't accidentally activate if you're getting into, you know, wet situations like swimming or if you're in the shower. You can view your phone's notifications on here. It can track your stress level, your steps, your calories burned, your active minutes. And it does come with a six month trial of Fitbit Premium for you to use. So this watch has a quoted battery life of up to seven days. And with my uses, which are things like 24 hour heart rate sensor, weekly GPS runs, daily alarms and timers, and more as you can see on screen, I have gotten six days of battery life with this guys, which is absolutely great. I mean, you only have to charge this thing once a week. And I think that could fit into a variety of people's lifestyles. All right guys, so now I'm gonna show you the display kind of indoors and outdoors. So this is what it looks like indoors under some lighting here and AMOLED display has beautiful, bright, bold, punchy colors, and this is what it looks like outdoors. I took this watch with me when I went on a couple GPS walks and runs, and as you can see, it's clear to read in the sunlight as well, but as it is an AMOLED display, it is quite reflective, so that's just something to keep in mind as well. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna show you some watch faces. So, the current one I have on here is this guy right here. And to change your watch face, guys, you're just gonna wanna go over to the Fitbit app. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna show you the watch faces currently available for the Fitbit Charge 5. So there aren't that many right now, which is a little disappointing for me, but I assume they're gonna come out with more soon. Here are all the ones that we have, guys. This is the one that I currently am using. It is called Progressive. All right guys, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to wake up the screen so you can use the watch. So you can do this two ways. One, you can double tap the screen and that is going to wake it up. And two, you can go ahead and turn on something called auto wake, which basically means if you take your wrist and you turn it towards your face, the screen is also going to wake up. You can go ahead and swipe to the left or right and this is gonna get you to you know your major apps so you can see your notifications you can start an exercise. I'm gonna show you guys some of the exercises on here. And you can go into the Fitbit app and actually, you know, add some more or remove workouts. Here we have alarms, timers, EDA scan, and then you're back to the home page. And once you get back to the main screen, you can swipe down 
and you could find your payments if you have any credit cards hooked up on here because it does have built-in NFC. There's also do not disturb mode if you wanna turn that on. There's sleep mode. There's a screen wake, which is that thing where you kind of turn your wrist towards yourself and it wakes it up. There's a water lock function you can turn on or off. And then we have the settings. So you can see your display settings, which you can turn up or down the screen brightness. You can turn on or off the, the auto wake. You can turn on or off always on display, but as they do tell you, it does impact your battery. We also have quiet modes, heart rate, you can turn that on or off. Heart rate zones, you can turn on or off. Vibrations, you can turn that strong or normal. There's no kind of low option. And I do want to say the vibration here. It's definitely not a light vibration, like you are going to feel it. So I wish that there was a low vibration option. And then GPS, guys, you can change up your GPS settings. And that's basically it for kind of your settings. Now, if we swipe up, we can see all of our metrics for the day. So we can see the active hours, heart rate, you see your sleep data on here. I prefer to look at it on the app. You can see your SpO2 if you do have that turned on, your menstrual cycle, your exercises for the week. So for the EDA scan, guys, it's kind of just like measuring your stress. You have to hold on to your, your watch for three minutes and just breathe in and out, and you're supposed to kind of stay still and calm, and it's measuring your current stress levels and such. Um, I know that they're planning to introduce ECGs or EKGs into here, but that's not currently a function that is available. For this kind of thing right now, the EDA, I don't really find it super helpful. I find it a bit gimmicky. Like, <laughs> I just have to stay here for three minutes, breathe. You're halfway there now. This EDA scan is not something I like to use because just sitting for three minutes holding something is boring. <laughs> I don't know how many people are going to actually use this function, but it's something that I want to show you guys because they don't have this on all of their watches. And a couple seconds, guys. So now we are all done. So now it's asking me to reflect on my mood. So I'm just gonna say neutral, and it's showing the amount of EDA responses that were sent. It also says your heart rate and your mood. And that's it guys, that's the basics of how to operate this watch. It also has built-in women's health tracking. So with this, you can track your menstrual cycle's length, duration, any symptoms you're feeling, such as bloating or cramps, and you can track your day-to-day -day mood, how you're feeling, any discharge, stuff like that. So here is some sleep data for me. Click on each of these. You can see everything kind of more in depth. And for deep and REM, it shows you that little chart. This is kind of the classic Fitbit chart. Um, I do have the premium version right now. It does come with the premium trial for this watch. So without the premium, you aren't seeing all this information, guys. And you can see, you know, specific sleep stages. And then time asleep just shows this little graph when you went to bed, when you woke up, and they give you some sleep tips and kind of your targeted sleep goal if you have one set up. And I've said this before, guys, and I'm saying it again. Fitbit has the best sleep tracker on the market right now in terms of any kind of fitness trackers, um, smartwatches, they are the most accurate in my experience. So if you're looking for a great sleep tracker, Fitbits will probably be your best bet for that. But some other areas of Fitbit is not as accurate as the GPS. The GPS did connect quickly and it was reliable connection. It didn't disconnect on me at all when I have gone on a variety of walks and runs. One thing I don't like about the GPS is that when it is connected, it gets the pace wrong a lot of the time, either too high or too low. Sometimes if I'm walking like really slow, maybe during a cool down phase, it's gonna mark me as like walking super fast. So it's just little things like that that I think they need to work on for the GPS. All right guys, so considering the price, the quality, the color, the performance, the battery life, and the ease of use of the Fitbit Charge 5, I would go ahead and give it a 7.9 out of 10. And I definitely do give it a thumbs up. So if you guys are looking to get the Fitbit Charge 5, I've gone ahead and left a link down in the description for you to use. If you are looking at the Fitbit Charge and you're just finding it too bulky for you, then I would actually recommend checking out the Fitbit Lux. So I have done a full review on that watch, which you can find at the top right and in the description below. And if there's anything I missed that you want to know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching, guys, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.